Okay, so I moved the mirror from the bedroom into this bathroom to try to open it up and make it look a little bigger since I painted it and uh, we redid the floor. This is only a temporary fix because this whole bathroom eventually will be ripped out, but in the meantime, this is what I'm going to do to this mirror right here. So, we bought these, uh, these tiles right here. These are from Lowe's. And it's just the tile, it's uh, recycled glass. You know, you use them like in your kitchen or whatever. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a border of these two rows all the way around the mirror in there uh, to um, update the look of that mirror uh, because there's like black growing around the side of it. I'll show you in a minute. But what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to peel these come on that little net backing right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel all of these off this backing. And then I'm going to take this, what I bought was a Scotch Indoor Outdoor Tape from Lowe's. It says it holds two pounds, but it, it's double-sided tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick these on here, as you can see. It's just, the tape is just a little bit smaller than the actual tiles, so I'm going to cut however long strips I need of this and line it up on the mirror and then tape these okay, to Okay, so it. I got one of these done. I got it all peeled off. It took me a minute. It was not as quick as I thought it was going to be. They were stuck on there pretty good, but if you peel them off just right, you can get them all off without all the stuff sticking onto the back of them. So that's actually quite a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So what I did was I took the tape and this is the roll of tape. I took the tape and I went in here and uh, let's see. I did one strip on this mirror right here, all the way to the bottom, and just cut it off. And then I put another strip right next to it. So what I'm going to do is peel this off and start sticking the tiles on. So peel off this tape. I'm going to do one row at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just start sticking them on one at a time. Just make sure they're touching, they're lined up. Just stick them on, touched up, lined up, stick on. And then I'm just going to repeat this okay, all the way down. As you can see here, I decided I had to go ahead and peel both of the backing off of this because it was overlapping a little bit into this side, but that's okay because it'll still hold it. It's pretty strong, but I had to do that because I didn't want to go over too far on this edge. So, I mean, it's okay. You're not obviously going to be able to see it, but that's, that's what I did. So okay, I'm almost going. completely finished with this. The only issues were right here. My husband is going to have to cut me two little ones and put them right there. And he'll probably cut around this thing as well. And this right here as well. Cut two of them for me to finish that out. And, you know, right here, as you can see, there's, there's one underneath there. So he'll cut that for me too. And then um, it'll be all finished. So this is basically what the mirror looks like now. I know I can't get a hole of it but it's all done didn't take long at all Just pop the peel and stick tape on it and went to town it's very quick well semi quick pretty easy and this cost me right here probably about I don't know, less than, well, t less than 20 bucks. The most expensive stuff was the tape. I don't know if I said that already. So this tape was around 10 bucks, and I still have a lot left anyway. The tape was around 10 bucks, and then the sheets were about 350 So that was just for that mirror. So that looks 100% better than So that's than the mirror be. now, and the mirror makes the room look huge. So that's why I wanted to do it. This mirror came from a different 
place in the in our house and I put it in here and then so we just bordered it and it totally changes the look and it actually kind of matches this flooring that we did so this whole bathroom cost I mean under forty dollars because the paint was seven bucks the tile the peel and stick tiles those were uh, probably around fourteen fifteen dollars and then um, the tape the double-sided sticky tape and the other the um, the little tiles were under 20 bucks as well so that's gonna do for now until we can get uh, the whole bathroom re refinished and what we're I decided to do this because it was so ugly I'm sure I said it the first video I made before I did this was a long time ago so I don't remember if I told you I'm gonna put it all together in the end but this whole house of ours is under construction. We are doing every single room in this place, floor to ceiling. And this bathroom back here is in our master bedroom and it will probably be the very last thing we do because our bedroom is fine. We don't have any issues with it. It's, it's not that bad at all. So, um, That's why I decided to go ahead and get this done because if not it was just so ugly. So here it is. It's all finished. I don't think I'm going to do anything else in here because it's so small. I'm not going to, I hate clutter. So just wanted to show you it's very easy to do your own projects and, and uh, that's it. So I'm going to leave these ones like that right over top of this. I mean, they're barely there, so if I ever have to move this mirror, I can just pop them right off. Because when you walk in the room, you can't even really tell unless you, you know, are, like, focusing on every little thing. This bottom area kind of went a little crazy. It's hard to do because it went down underneath a little bit, as you can see, of the actual mirror. Because, well, that's just what happened. You can't tell by looking at it, but, so, it was hard to keep a straight line, so it's kind of like up and down a little bit. It's not perfect, but it'll do for me. The only thing I'm going to do is this right here. I'm going to have my husband cut me two little ones here and two little ones there, and then it'll be perfectly done. So, I really like it. I Every time I come in here, I like it a lot, but um, it's a, was a very easy project. The only thing I would suggest is if you want to make sure it's perfect, you need to measure it out. And um, if you're worried about these things right here, the little lump, you can't really tell, but maybe you could stagger them or something. But uh, if you're like me, just go for it and whatever you have to fix, you have to fix. There's just four little teeny ones and that's it. So I'm really happy with it. Hope you like it. Say bye.